Good evening, friends. Good evening, uh, humans. And a special regards to lawyers, advocates, and judges, and all the Roman legal system. This is dedicated to you. Consider this is going to be recorded from now to the eternity until you are no more. So, my blessings to whatever left of you, and hopefully, we'll never see you again. Title for today goes like this Legal Malpractice and Shifting of Responsibility. Did you ever notice that none of these lawyers, advocates, and judges are responsible for decisions and the money they are taking from the clients, from the government, let's say if they are judges, or if they are prosecutors from the state or a government? Do they take any responsibility for putting an innocent man in jail, or even worse, to putting it in the electrical chair or some kind of uh, other type of execution that still exists in, I think, 13 states in the United States and a couple of countries, a <laughs> couple of more countries all over the world. That capital sentence is still very active. So, can you imagine? Who the fuck they think they are, these judges or lawyers. They are thinking or they are behaving like they can own and prosecute other human life, other human being, putting it in a total disarray, make them absolutely shattered to the end of their lives, whoever experiencing court, whoever experiencing some kind of sentencing, whoever experiencing, even from the family members, that their members are sentenced for whatever reason, are there any damages to be claimed? I tell you, yes so, absolutely yes so. Any of you, whoever come across a lawyer, a judge, signing a contract for the mortgage, signing a contract, giving your child out by giving them a cert a certificate, birth certificate, taking your child away by very covert means you as soon as it's born you have to register your child and it's all coming through a legal very very criminal and covert actions do you have a right god-given right to claim damages that has been done upon you by these machinators by these nothing else but pity thieves of your soul by pretending that they can judge you, they can put you in a position that you are less worthy because they say you committed a crime or if you don't vaccinate your children, they say you have to be responsible and your child will suffer or even worse, they can take away your child through another level of Call it legal fiction that they are infusing through a medical means of mass depopulation and they are a big part of it so what's legal malpractice it can be and it is almost every action that legal system present legal roman system is performing every single one 
they are taking money from the client who was accused to, to do something, let's say, something that is not by the law. Does this defensive lawyer has a legal obligation, legal obligation, to absolutely trust this law, this man, and trust into the law that it, he represents, that he will not take a single dollar or a single monetary value until the case is resolved. Check it. They're absolutely in wrong. As soon as they take a money for the work they are pretending they're going to do, let's say, defending you, they are absolutely doing a malpractice. So, how this is simple. They cannot claim any money over their work. Reason why? Because they are doing it against your will. Because you are, let's say, forced, in the quotes, by government officials, by uh, judge ruling, by laws, by laws, and so on. These are not God's mandatory requirements. These are just suggestions that you, if you were not informed, as this is what I want to keep you, not informed, you are start seeking for the help of these vultures. They are nothing else but uh, sheep in a wolf's clothes who are pretending they are going to protect you. So, in any case, any case, I'm talking the ticket, speeding ticket, in America, North America, it's very common. This is how they make ton of money for a city, for their own uh, court system and so on. This creates a tremendous emotional trauma for people who, let's say morally and driving responsibly, just going by their own business and suddenly the police comes behind you and start right away putting a threat over your uh, energy, over your shoulder, like a human, human being shoulder infusing you with attempt to put you into a straw man identity they own so they cannot really tell you this openly that until you realize that you are not this straw man they are claiming they gave you a registration number they gave you a driver's license they gave you a birth certificate they can just suggest that if you take character of this capital letter straw man then they will rip you apart and you have by their rules you have to obey all the rules they give you and they give you a huge book of rules that you have to follow but nobody rare people in the world are bringing the attention to their own responsibility lawyers and legal system responsibility why they are doing it to most of the cases i'm talking most of the case to harm the defender you as a defender are alone against judge against the bar against the executor against your defense lawyer who is a part of this Call it cabal, dark cabal, secret community of the vultures who are just devouring the world. And they're raping innocence of the humanity. So who, who can only take you out of this system? It will be you. But again, if you listen, as many videos that you can find on YouTube, not on any public television or mainstream media, but on YouTube. Find a straw man 
identity. Find how many people, Australia, Canada, America, Britain, I didn't find many in Europe, South Africa. We are here on this planet transcending existence of the old Roman legal system by absolutely taking their local, uh, Roman system against them by realization that you can charge them for malpractice and if you just do a search open legal malpractice open commercial law malpractice open civil law yeah malpractice you will be amazed where and how you can squeeze them you go back in your 20 years of history doesn't matter doing business being just like a, a, a purchase buyer of the house or apartment when you realize that this was the biggest scam put over your shoulders they put the burden and they used your funds that was given to you by creation prosperity funds your own straw man funds so how to stop behaving like a like a like a I don't know how you can stop behaving like a total obedient sheep start taking these steps towards a legal system that was oppressing you for all this time that's the most non-violent and very effective way but you have to start you have to start taking your right steps don't be afraid of any lawyer don't be afraid of any judge don't be afraid of any advocate because they're absolutely becoming insignificant as many of these new developments will come into the light just watch Trump what he's doing with the states with the United States when you start realizing that this is the only way all the dark and secret government including of some of the puppets like uh, Clinton's McCain's Soros's, Kissinger's, whoever, they will be exposed by legal actions against them for what they've done. They did harm towards human beings living in America or in the other countries, let's say, what Soros did in Hungary, Ukraine, Serbia, and many other places. So, we don't have to chase them, hang them on the street, you know, corner, lamp. No. They don't deserve, you know, your energy and effort to get upset with us. You just have to be brave to raise your claim against the harm that was done to you. And it is physical harm, mental harm, emotional harm psychological harm and especially the material wealth and your well-being was endangered by lawyers advocates and judges so this is just the beginning this is a beginning of 2017 these videos will be for you very normal from many different sides be aware and be brave to raise your voice for your own freedom because they would not give you they would take every single freedom from you until you say enough until you say basta i had enough of being a sheep i want to become a human better say free human to do get your pens ready and start thinking 
who you can raise charges against in the legal system. What they've done to you. What they've done to your child. What they've done to your strong man. There is a responsible person or entity, governmental entity, that you can raise charges against for stealing all these funds from you. That you have to suffer for whatever years that you live on this, in this incarnation, and you can charge them for damages and ask for reparations. I implore you, ex expect these news really be almost every day and you start seeing them amongst your family and friends the people start thinking that this is the only way so you don't need to spell a single tear a single drop of blood a single sweat you make your own statement and charge the legal system for what they deserve